H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to the videos of H2K Infosys. So in continuation to our understanding of Core Java concepts, uh, we are going to look at the concept of string type. Now string type is not considered as a, it's not a data type by itself. String is an inbuilt class of Java language. So in this Java language, we have something known as string class. Okay. So that is why when we declare variables as a string, we don't say that it is a string data type. We call it that that variable is of string type. Okay. And since string is an inbuilt class of Java, okay, string will have methods. So it's a common concept that any class will have methods as far as the object-oriented programming is concerned. And since Java is object oriented programming, it follows the same uh, concept that every class will have methods. So similarly, since string is an inbuilt class of Java language, it will have different methods. Now methods are also called as functions and the different methods of the string class we will be seeing it when we finish up the concept of functions. So at this point of time, I will just going to declare variables as string type. So let's go to the practicalities of it. Okay. So what I will do is that I will create a new project called as session five. It's a Java project. Click on the next button. So I'll call this project as session five and I'm going to click on the next button click on the finish button and I do not want to change the perspective. In this particular session 5, I am going to again create a class called as a string type. And I am going to use the main method because I want to throw the results in the con console of Eclipse. So double click on the tab created for the string type class and it is going to expand it. So let us see what does a string type holds. So when we declare a variable as a string type, variables declared as a string type, it basically uses uses the keyword. I will not say it's a keyword. You uses the class called string. Now since it is an inbuilt class of Java, it's an inbuilt class of Java, that is why string will be shown in black color. Let us understand that very very clearly. So any class that we use will be shown in the Eclipse ID in black color. So if we use any other inbuilt classes of Java or we create our own classes, okay, it will be shown in black color. So, so in the same manner, if we are using the string class to define a variable type, it will be shown in black color. Okay. The value declaration for a string type variable should be within single quotes. Sorry, not single quotes. Should be within double quotes. Okay. And string type variable 
can take any type of character for declaring its value. So let us see that. So what I will do is that I will create a variable a of string type. Now the keyword used to define a string type variable is string with a capital S or a with the uppercase S. So string a and the value declaration should be within double quotes. Put a terminator sign. So if you see out here, it is coming in black color, and that is the, and the reason is that string is an inbuilt class and classes are shown in eclipse id in black color now what is the value that i want to declare let's say hi okay now i declare one more variable which is of string type let's say b and the value of it for example is that we are learning let's say code java okay now if we want to use a sys out statement and we want to actually use the addition sign to to actually print out the values of variable a and variable b now this addition sign becomes out here a concatenation operator because the variable a is of string type that is why it is declared within single quotes the value of variable a and variable b is also of string type and that is why it is declared within the value of variable b is also declared within double quotes now if we basically use the plus sign out here you are actually concatenating the value of variable a which is in string format with the value of variable b which is in string format so the resultant result after saving this class file in the console will be hi we are learning selenium it's R and I will save this file and run it okay so that is how it reacts okay so let's go and now define an integer let's say uh, C which is equal to 10 and uh, I have a string variable called D whose value will be defined within double quotes uh, and we can write down we have we have concatenate let's say 10 mangoes so I'll concatenate the variable C this is uh, no I'll not concatenate out here so we'll just write down out here uh, let's say number of mangoes I'll put an arrow sign okay and I'll end it with a terminator now I want to basically declare a string variable called e where I'm trying to add you know d plus c and I'm trying to add D plus T to get a logical result and put a terminator sign out here. Now, as I have told you, string type variables can take any type of character. So if you look at the variable D's value, this is in uh, what you call string characters or a string format rather, and the value of variable C is in 10. So as I have told you, whatever is the format or whatever is the type of character that you define for a string variable it will be taken into consideration by compiler so compiler will take the value of d as well as c okay and if i do a ciso and i just print out the value of a i'll get the result as number of mangoes dash 10 because a string variable can take any type of character inside it or any format of character whatever we can call it as similarly let's say I want to basically uh, use the 
CISO statement directly. So you can write a CISO statement directly like this also. Uh, I can write down uh, something like number of mangoes present R. This is in string format, so this will be thrown out in the console as it is. Okay, and I am concatenating this string format with a variable C, which is in integer format. So this plus sign acts as a concatenation operator, not as a addition. Okay, now if I save this class file and run it, I am getting the value as this. Number of mangoes present are 10. Okay, now how about let's say I have a double variable let's say f whose value is let's say 10.99 and i have a string g whose value should be in string format and that is why i am putting double quotes so weight of the sparrow okay and i put something known as some hashtags okay and i add up these variables f plus g and put the added added value to a variable which is of string type and the variable out here let's say is h now as i have told you a string variable can take any type of character or any format of character so this is in your double format okay the value of variable g is in string format so when i am basically using the plus sign it acts as a concatenation operator which will concatenate the value of 10.99 with weight of sparrow so if i run this class file okay i'll run it after i use a ciso statement and i'll basically just call the variable h so if i run the class file after saving it this is how i get it now this is an absurd kind of you know uh, output if you want to have a logical output what we need to do the only thing that i'll do is that i will define another variable called i and what i will do is that i will not add f plus g i will add g plus h to give a logical output okay and then i will use a terminator sign and then i can use a sys out statement and just call up i and if i save this class file and run it i'll get a logical output this was a illogical kind of output people will fail to understand what i'm trying to print out in the console but this will be you know kind of understandable so i'm putting the value of g plus h the g plus h so it is you know if you see out here this is g part and this is the h part h is nothing but a combination of f plus g so actually what i want to do is that i will add g plus f and then i put the value of i in the println command and then i'll get a logical output out here weight of sparrow i can see is 10.99 this is much more logical than the earlier print ln command okay so that's about the, the the string type and how that is how we declare a variable as a string type thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts please revert to us thanks for your time